Have you ever wondered how you can grow plants using fish waste? Yes, you heard it right, fish waste. Imagine a world where fish and plants live together in a perfect balance, creating a self-sustaining garden. A place where fish waste is not a problem, but a solution. This fascinating unconventional gardening method is known as aquaponics. It's a unique blend of aquaculture and hydroponics, where nature does all the hard work for you. So, are you ready to dive deep into the world of aquaponics? Aquaponics may sound like a term from a science fiction movie, but it's a very real and effective method of gardening. So let's dive into the basics of this intriguing concept. Aquaponics is a unique blend of two significant agricultural practices. The first part of the word aqua hints at aquaculture, a practice that involves raising aquatic animals like fish, crayfish, or prawns in tanks. The second part, ponics, derives from hydroponics, a method of growing plants without soil, where the plant roots are bathed in nutrient-rich water. When these two practices come together, we get the innovative system known as aquaponics. But how does it work? Imagine a closed-loop ecosystem where the waste produced by the aquatic animals serves as a natural fertilizer for the plants. In turn, the plants, with their inherent filtering properties, purify the water, which is then recirculated back to the aquatic animals. This symbiotic relationship creates a sustainable cycle of life where both plants and animals thrive. Aquaponics is not just a fascinating concept but a practical one too. It allows us to grow our food right at home, without relying on synthetic fertilizers or pesticides. Plus, it's a water-saving practice, as the same water is continually recycled within the system. So, in essence, aquaponics is a clever marriage of fish farming and hydroponics, resulting in a symbiotic environment where both fish and plants coexist and benefit each other. In other words, fish and plants grow together in one integrated system. Now you might be wondering, how does this symbiotic cycle work in aquaponics? To understand this, we need to break down the process into three main steps. These steps paint a picture of a harmonious cycle where every organism plays a crucial role, contributing to the overall health of the aquaponic system. Step 1 begins with our finned friends, the fish. In this step, the fish live their lives as they usually would, swimming around, eating, and, yes, producing waste. This waste might seem like a problem but in an aquaponic system it's more of a golden ticket. It's packed full of things that plants crave but there's a catch. The waste is in a form that plants can't directly use. This is where our microscopic heroes come into play. Step 2 involves the bacteria. These tiny unseen workers are the middlemen in this operation. They take the fish waste and begin to convert it into a form that plants can absorb. This process is known as nitrification. The bacteria transform the ammonia from the fish waste into nitrites and then into nitrates which are like a gourmet meal for our green friends, the plants. Now, on to step 3, the final stage of this cycle, which revolves around the plants. The plants, with their roots submerged in the water, happily soak up the nitrates that the bacteria have produced. They're not just absorbing nutrients though, as they take in these nitrates they're also cleaning the water. This is vital because it makes the water safe for the fish again. The plants essentially act as a natural filter, purifying the water and returning it back to the fish tank. And there you have it, the remarkable symbiotic cycle of an aquaponic system. It's a beautifully balanced dance of nature, where each participant supports the other. The fish provide the waste, the bacteria convert the waste, and the plants clean the water creating a sustainable loop of life. It's a cycle of life, where waste is not waste but a resource. Now that you understand the cycle, let's get into the nitty-gritty of setting up an aquaponic system. To set up an aquaponic system, there are four essential components you'll need. A fish tank, a grow bed for the plants, a water pump, and a water filter. Each of these components has a unique role to play in the ecosystem, and they all work in harmony to create a thriving environment for both your fish and plants. Let's start with the fish tank. This is where your fish will live, and it's also the source of the nutrient-rich water that will feed your plants. The size of the tank will depend on the number of fish and the type of fish you plan to keep. Larger fish, naturally, will require a larger tank. It's crucial to ensure the tank provides a healthy and comfortable environment for the fish, as their well-being is the cornerstone of your aquaponic system. Next up is the grow bed. This is where your plants will grow, drawing nutrients directly from the water circulated from the fish tank. The grow bed serves as the biofilter in your system, housing the beneficial bacteria that convert fish waste into nutrients for your plants. 
It's important to choose a grow bed that is deep enough to support your plants, and also has good drainage to prevent water logging. Then we have the water pump. This component is responsible for circulating water from the fish tank to the grow bed. The pump ensures that the water is continuously moving, preventing stagnation and the buildup of harmful substances. It also ensures that the water is oxygenated, which is vital for the health of both the fish and the bacteria in the system. Last but not least, we have the water filter. While the grow bed does act as a natural filter, a mechanical water filter is still needed to remove solid waste and prevent it from clogging the system. The filter also helps to maintain the quality of the water, ensuring that it is clean and safe for the fish. All these components work together to create a balanced and self-sustaining ecosystem. The fish produce waste, which is converted into nutrients by the bacteria in the grow bed. The plants in turn absorb these nutrients, cleaning the water in the process, which is then returned to the fish tank. It's a beautiful cycle of life right in your backyard. Setting up an aquaponic system might seem complex, but once it's up and running, it's a joy to watch. The symbiotic relationship between the fish and the plants, the constant cycle of life and growth, and the satisfaction of producing your own food, all make it an endeavor worth investing in. And the best part? You're actively contributing to a sustainable way of farming, one that's kind to the environment and can provide a bounty of fresh, organic produce right at your doorstep. Setting up an aquaponic system might seem complex, but once it's up and running, it's a joy to watch. Why should you consider using aquaponics over traditional gardening methods, you ask? Well, let's dive right into the myriad benefits this ingenious system offers. Firstly, aquaponics is a water-wise method of farming. Unlike traditional farming that can be quite thirsty, aquaponics uses up to 90% less water. How? It's a closed-loop system, meaning the water is recycled continuously. The only water needed is to compensate for the minor loss due to evaporation or absorption by plants. Next, no soil, no problem. That's right, aquaponics doesn't require soil. Instead, plants are grown in water, drawing nutrients directly from the waste of our finned friends. This makes it a great option for areas with poor soil quality or for urban dwellers with limited access to arable land. Now, if you're someone who values organic produce, aquaponics is your best bet. The system relies on the natural symbiosis between fish and plants, eliminating the need for chemical fertilizers or pesticides. This results in not only healthier, but also tastier produce. And speaking of produce, why settle for just vegetables when you can have fish too? Yes, aquaponics gives you the best of both aquatic and terrestrial worlds. You get to harvest fresh, organic veggies while also reaping protein-rich fish. It's like having your own supermarket right in your backyard. Finally, sustainability is at the heart of aquaponics. It mimics natural ecosystems, promoting a balanced, self-sustaining environment. With minimal inputs and waste, it's a shining example of efficient resource management. Plus, it reduces reliance on external sources for food, fostering self-sufficiency. So there you have it. Aquaponics is not just about growing plants and fish together. It's about resource efficiency, organic farming, and sustainability. It's about bridging the gap between nature and technology to create a system that works in harmony with the environment. Aquaponics is not just a gardening method, it's a lifestyle that embraces sustainability and self-sufficiency. And that, dear friends, is why you should consider making the switch to aquaponics. The world of aquaponics is fascinating, isn't it? We've journeyed through the basics of this innovative form of gardening, seeing how it marries hydroponics and aquaculture into a harmonious self-sustaining system. The symbiotic cycle at the heart of aquaponics is a marvel of nature, with fish and plants supporting each other in a closed-loop ecosystem. We've also explored how to set up an aquaponic system, from choosing the right fish and plants to creating the perfect environment for them to thrive. And let's not forget the many benefits of aquaponics. It's a water-efficient, space-saving method of gardening that can produce lush, healthy crops all year round, without the need for soil or synthetic fertilizers. With aquaponics, you're not just growing plants, you're cultivating an ecosystem. Now isn't that an exciting way to garden?